looking. That doesn't bother me so much. I'll tell you what does bother me is I found out tonight that we had multiple Republicans that had already made a decision and a deal that they were going to sign the discharge petition to, for the clean debt ceiling bill. And, and that bothers me way more than Democrats voting on this bill. This is, we know this is a bipartisan agreement. Uh, our speaker went to the White House and made that agreement um, with President Biden. So of course we knew Democrats were going to be voting for it. But I, I, <laughs> it, really, it really upsets me that, that on the front end of this, that we had our own members that were prepared to cross over and just pass the clean debt ceiling bill and that's why a lot of us chose to uh, work and fight for this, is we were trying to stop a clean debt ceiling bill. Um, so on that Ken note, Buck we, said that his constituents are furious about this debt deal. You represent a very conservative district. Mm -hmm. Are your constituents furious about this deal? No, they're, they're not furious. And, and I'm happy to be going back home tomorrow so I can talk to them about it. Uh, they don't want to default. There's a lot of small businesses in my district that don't want to have uh, financial problems. We don't want to see um, our, our bonds uh, downgraded. We don't, want to, we don't want to see any kind of economic failure or bank problems um, coming from a default. I think that's really important. It's more than just taking a politically easy vote. It, it was politically easy for people like me to vote no on this because none of us ever want to raise the debt ceiling. I certainly don't, especially on all this debt that I never voted to create. So it was it was actually harder for people like me to get in here and work hard to get this passed. But again, I was I did this because I do not want to see a clean debt ceiling raise and we are actually cutting spending with this bill. And I think that's something I can take home and say, look, the bill isn't perfect. There's a lot of things I don't like in it, but we did cut spending. We're saving the American people money and we have a tool in there in our toolbox now with the appropriations package, which I really care about and I want to work on um, in appropriations going against this weaponized government. To follow up on Scott though, did, did the speaker give an assurance that they wouldn't, that you wouldn't pass the bill or Democrats voted for it than Republicans. I mean, it sounds like some of your fellow colleagues are upset about that specifically. That's not an issue to me. Um, I was just telling Scott what upsets me is we had Republican members that were already planning to sign the discharge petition to pass the clean debt ceiling bill. That upsets How many members do you uh, that was, or? It's, I do know some of them. I'm not going to name names, um, but it was approximately seven, possibly up to 12 is, is the numbers that I understand. Um, but there were about seven that were going to do it, and then it could have been higher. Congressman Biggs said earlier that there's going to be a, a reassessment of what the coalition is from the House right now. What's your, your reaction to that? <laughs> Coalition and a reassessment is in what a motion to vacate? Something like that, essentially saying that it was Republicans and conservatives who helped bring Speaker McCarthy over the finish line, and, and now it's, you know, it's. There's gonna be no, there were 20 of them that tried to stop bring, bringing him across the finish line. I think the American people would be purely disgusted if they wanted to throw away our majority. And, and completely destroy our conference and our ability to get things done, I think our Republican voters would be disgusted at that. Because here, what we've done so far in five months, we've passed a Parents' Bill of Rights. We've passed protect, um, protecting women, women and girls' sports. We passed the strongest border package that there has been in, I don't know how long, history probably. Um, we passed an America First energy bill. And if my friends and colleagues in the Freedom Caucus want a motion to vacate over that, that is absolutely absurd, simply because we passed a, a, a debt ceiling bill that actually cuts spending and gives us the tools in the toolbox to work hard in appropriation to stop Biden's weaponized government. I think they'd be, I think they would find out that it's not as popular as they think, just because it looks good on Twitter right now. So it would be a really dumb move. Obviously, this bill is more favorable to you than a clean debt ceiling increase. Is there a frustration that there are things left on the table that could have made a bigger dent in the deficit? Oh, there's a lot of things that I would have liked to have seen happen. Of, of course, I again, I don't fully support this bill. I voted for it for a few specific things. Um, but the reality, and I live in reality, not conservative fantasy land. The reality is, is that we barely, barely control one half of this house, which is only one third of the federal government. So people that I understand 
um, how to be successful and make deals that will actually work um, and are actually realistic. We, this is why we supported this. We didn't want the clean debt ceiling raise. We wanted to get something for it. And if this, if we hadn't have gotten this passed, again, we had Republican members that were ready to just run across the aisle, sign that discharge petition, and Chuck Schumer in the Senate already had 60 votes to pass the clean debt ceiling bill over there. And Lindsey Graham was gonna slap on a Ukraine supplemental because he was furious that for some reason, our bill doesn't include Ukraine funding which is absurd. So that was going to happen. Um, and, and I'm so glad to be a part of, of stopping that. So, um, the Senate is considering amendments. Some Republicans are actually advocating for amendments. If they were to amend this bill, would you guys be prepared to take it up again? Or is this like a take it or leave it situation? I, I think we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, but I'm, I'm not surprised. I'm sure they're going to try to amend amendments. Lindsey Graham's already, he's pounding the the drums of war over there in the Senate. He just, he's already on record saying that he wants to kill as many Russians as he possibly can. I personally want to see peace and, and to see people, especially innocent people, uh, you know, this war to stop killing innocent people. I think that's what we should be doing. That seems like the responsible thing to do. And all these guys that talk tough about the military, you know, they should care about our own southern border and they should they should think about maybe going to war with the Mexican cartels who are actually responsible for killing 300 Americans a day. Um, and they should remember what government and country they serve, which is the United States of America. Um, but that, I'm sure we'll see that happen over in the Senate. So we'll be back next week and I guess we'll see if we have to deal with that. What, what is this? Oh, sorry, on the discharge petition, uh -huh. you said seven to, seven, Republic, seven to 12 Republicans maybe? Seven to possibly uh, as high as 12. And, and that was in the event of if this, if this didn't pass, they were going over to sign the discharge petition for the clean debt ceiling bill. And we know Chuck Schumer already had the votes there to do it. He could have done it like that. Do you know when it became clear that that was around the universe of Republicans considering? Um, unfortunately, they had made that deal uh, when our speaker was going over to the White House trying to work this one, which is really disappointing to me. Yeah. What do the next steps look like going forward as far as appropriations? Are you going to intend to try to get another bite at the apple with spending cuts during, during that process? Oh, well, there's a lot of things we can do. And so, again, when I came here this week for this and I was very undecided, unhappy about this bill, I said, we, we have to do more. There's got, like I called it, you remember I was calling it a, you know, wet sandwich. And I was saying I was looking for sides and I'm especially looking for dessert. Well, dessert is looking really good right now. We're just trying to pick which recipe we want. The sides, though, need to be, we need to prove to the American people that Republicans can pass a balanced budget. That is extremely important. And we have to find a way to tackle this debt because it's completely out of control. So, thanks, you guys. Thank you.